Okay, magandang uh, araw po mga kapatid. Ang pag-uusapan po natin ay justification. So, ano ba ang justification? Ang justification ay to reckon or to declare one righteous. So, ito po yung isa sa mga napakagandang topic po regarding justification. So, ang justification po natin ay uh, ang uh, basis po is yung uh, cross. Yan, ito po yung basis ng ating justification kung uh, ano yung ginawa ng ating Panginoon dito po sa sa cross na maging ang Israel at saka yung mga Gentiles ay uh, kasama po na uh, recipient kung ano yung ginawa ng ating Panginoong Hesus kaya pagdating po dito sa sa panahon po natin ngayon kung sino man ang uh, naniniwala doon sa sa preaching of the cross ay considered justified. So justified. Kaya we are justified in the sight of God by believing. So kailangan po natin uh, maniwala po sa ginawa ng ating Panginoong Hesus. So the Greek word for justify is actually the same Greek word which is translated righteousness. So yung word na uh, justi justification, justify, ito po ay halos parehas ang Greek word na ang ibig sabihin po ay righteousness. Ayan, uh, righteousness. So halos parehas po yung uh, Greek word na justification at saka yung righteousness. In Romans chapter 3 verse 21 Romans chapter 3 verse 21 But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested being witnessed by the law and the prophets And then verse 22 Even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe For there is no difference. So yun po yung uh, makikita natin dito, yung righteousness uh, unto uh, Christ. So righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and then upon all. Therefore, to justify means to righteousify or to reckon one righteous. So, This does not mean that the believers is made righteous as far as his practical life is concerned. It means that God declares him to be righteous. Remember, the righteousness given to a believer is not handed to him but is uh, put to his account. So ganito po ang uh, nangyari po na ang uh, righteousness ng ating Panginoon ay... Uh, na napunta po sa ating account. So halimbawa, ito yung God's God's righteousness. Ayan, God's righteousness. Nung tayo po ay naniwala dito po sa sa ginawa ng ating Panginoon, yung God's righteousness ay napunta po doon sa ating account. Ayan, kaya tayo po ay naging ano, ginawang righteous nung tayo naniwala, yung God's righteousness napunta po sa ating account. And then yung kasalanan natin ay napunta din sa account ng ating Panginoong Isus. Kaya siya po yung naparusahan, siya po yung namatay instead na tayo ang uh, maparusahan. Pero ang nangyari po, yung ating kasalanan ay napunta sa account ng ating Panginoong Isus. And then yung God's righteousness naman ay napunta din sa ating account. Kaya tayo po ay naging Righteous. So remember the, the righteousness uh, given to a believer is not handed to him but is uh, put to his account. You are not made as righteous as Jesus Christ. You are credited as having his righteousness. It is on this basis that God declares you righteous. So ganun po ang nang, nangyari. God uh, diniklara po ng ating Panginoon na tayo ay righteous nung ta after na naniwala po tayo dito sa ginawa ng ating Panginoong Hesus kaya God declares us righteous 
Who does God declare righteous? And why and how can a holy God do this? In Job uh, 9, 1 and 2, uh, tignan lang po natin itong uh, sulat ni Job, chapter number 9. Job chapter 9, verses uh, 1 and 2. Then Job answered and said, I knew it so of a, a truth, but how should man be just with God? So ito yung uh, question ni Job. And his friend Beldad were among the, the first to ask this question in Job 25.4. So in Job chapter 25 verse 4, How then can man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? So, yun po yung isa na question ni, ni, ni Beldad at saka yung question din ni Job regarding sa righteousness, kung paano nga maging righteous. Now, finally, in the gospel, given to Paul, the answer is made known by Romans 3.28. So, kung ito si Job at si Beldad ay nagtatanong regarding sa righteousness, kung paano maging righteous ang isang tao, ito naman ang sinabi ni uh, ni Apostle Paul dito sa Romans 3 verse 28 Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law So halimbawa, nandito si, si Job under, under the law Ito si Job at saka si Bildad Ayun po yung tanong nila regarding uh, righteousness uh, Regarding po sa righteousness, yun po yung tanong nila at Siyempre, hindi po agad na sagot yung kanilang tanong. Pero ang good news po, dahil ang uh, sinabi ni Apostle Paul na yung righteousness po, ayan, uh, dito, at saka yung justification ay makita po natin na ma masusumpungan ng isang tao yung tinatawag justification, righteousness, sa pamagitan po ng ating paniniwala uh, paniniwala uh, sa ating Panginoon na hindi po nagagawa ng kautosan. Yan, regarding sa, sa righteousness dito, hindi po nagawa ng uh, kautosan kaya wala pong diniklarang righteous pero ang good news dito po sa ating mga kapatid under this present program sa pamagitan ng ating paniniwala uh, sa ating Panginoon, God declares us righteous. So, ganun po ang uh, nangyari sa panahon po natin ngayon. So, remember our previous two word uh, studies, we understand from the word impute that God takes His righteousness and puts it to the account of all who believe in Jesus Christ. So, ganun po yan. Ulitin ko po yung righteousness ng ating Panginoon ay uh, punta po sa ating uh, account. Okay? Uh, who believe in Jesus Christ. Therefore, even though I am a sinner, in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, Romans chapter 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Ayan. So, the, the moment I believe, or we believe, God credits His righteousness, righteousness to me and then declares us or me righteous. This is justification. So, ganun po ang nangyari na sinasabi nung sa, sa verse na for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, pero after na tayo naniwala or maniwala dun sa message or the preaching of the cross, the death, burial, and resurrection, ito po ang kagandahan po. God uh, credits His righteousness to, to us or to me and then declares us Righteous. So this is what we call justification. Ayan. Romans chapter 8 verse 33 says, We are justified by God. He is the source. Okay? We are justified by God. So the source of justification ay ang Panginoon. According to Romans chapter 8 verse 33. And then Romans 5 verse 9 says, We are justified by blood. Christ 
blood is the basis. So we are justified by the blood. So ano po yung basis? Ay yung basis po doon is uh, ang uh, death ng ating Panginoon. God is the source, justification, at ang basis po is yung blood ng ating Panginoon para tayo ma-justify. Ma-justify. And then Romans chapter 3 verse 24 says we are justified by grace. So this is the means. So we are justified by the grace. So yun po yung uh, uh, yun po yung uh, point dito na kung ang Panginoon yung source ang basis yung uh, yung cross po yung basis pero makita po natin dito na na justified po tayo doon sa grace at ito po yung pinag-uusapan dito. Mayroon pa po dito sa Romans chapter 5 verse 1 says we are justified by faith. So here, here is the appropriation uh, regarding dito po sa uh, Romans 5.1 Therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And then Romans 4.25 who was delivered for our uh, offenses and was raised again for our justification. So says we are justified by the resurrection of Christ. This is the guarantee. So ganun po yun ang uh, makita natin kung pag-uusapan natin yung justification, God is the source, and then uh, ang, uh, death, burial, and resurrection or the cross, the basis, and then grace is the means, and then uh, yung uh, sinabi sa Romans 5.1 and Romans 4.25 makita natin justification by faith and justification by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that is uh, the guarantee. Justification is a legal term. Justification is a legal term. Justification, justification speaks of a favorable verdict from God which is pronounced the moment a person believes in Christ. So the unfavorable verdict is damnation, which is already upon us and is sealed and thus for those neglecting to believe in Christ. So ganun po ang nangyari, eh, kung wala po ito, kung hindi gumawa ang Panginoon ng uh, way, ito po yung mangyari sana, yung wrath ng ating Panginoon or yung uh, damnation ang ginamit po doon sa sa context po natin ay uh, ito po yung mararanasan po natin lahat po tayo ay makakaranas po dito. Kasi yun po yung uh, dapat na pupuntahan po natin. So the final sentence will come at the future great white throne judgment of God spoken of revelation. So and then uh, later on kung uh, uh, Ito po yung tinatawag na final uh, judgment. Final judgment, the great white throne. Ayan, great white throne judgment. Revelation chapter 20 verse 11 to 15. So later on ay aharap po dito yung mga, mga uh, hindi makakasama po dito. So, ito po yung isang ano po, yung uh, pwedeng maranasan ng iba, the final sentence will come at the future great white throne judgment. In the courtrooms are always very frightening, especially if it is you who is going up before the judge. As we think about the term justification, the, the sin is in the courtroom of God's justice. So, parang ganun po ang... Uh, ang uh, picture so the scene is the courtroom of God's justice God is the, the judge okay God is the judge His righteousness is the standard so remember sa, sa time na ito kung ang Panginoon ay uh, is going to judge ang yung standard ang basis ang basihan po yung kanyang standard halimbawa yun yung scenario na nasa courtroom po tayo na ang uh, Panginoon po yung judge at ayon dito sa sa ating uh, manuscript ay ang basis ng kanyang ano po yung standard yung yung uh, standard ng Panginoon is yung uh, yung, uh, yung righteousness ng ating Panginoon so the time of this hearing is our 
lifetime, not after we die. So there we stand before the high and holy judgment bar of God. So example, and we stand there knowing for well that we fall far far short of uh, his standard of his uh, of holiness. We know we are sinners and we know we're guilty. So alam natin na kung nasa judgment uh, bar of God or halimbawa naka nakatayo po tayo before uh, before his judgment before his throne halimbawa at alam natin na tayo po ay guilty so yet if we will only believe in what Jesus Christ accomplished for us on the cross his righteousness will be put to our account and when God sounds his burden he will declare the believer righteous. Kung sakali, ganun po ang mangyari na ang isang tao ay maniwala po dito sa ginawa ng ating Panginoon, ang uh, i-announce ng Panginoon or God, ang sasabihin ng Panginoon na tayo ay righteous. Pero kung hindi, ayun po, may, ma mararanasan po yung tinatawag damnation or wrath na halimbawa na ang Panginoon ay nasa nga, sa kanyang courtroom na siya po ang judge na makita na isang tao ay talagang ayaw hindi siya naniniwala ito po yung pwedeng maging punishment ayan uh, yung tinatawag na lake of lake of fire pero kung ang isang tao ay naniniwala pagkaharap niya ang Panginoon halimbawa naniniwala po dito sa sa cross o sa ginawa ng ating Panginoon yun po yung sasabihin ng Panginoon sa mga naniniwala righteous yan kaya talagang napakaganda po na para hindi po maranasan ng mga tao dito banda ito na po yung offer ng Panginoon ang Panginoon ay uh, uh, nag offer po para sa lahat na kung sino man ang maniniwala doon sa ginawa ng ating Panginoon ayon po sa sa context ng ating pag-aaral ang righteousness ng Panginoon ay ay uh, uh, pupunta po sa ating account and then ang Panginoon i-declare po niya tayo righteous kaya kung puntahan lang natin saglit ang 2 Corinthians chapter uh, ch chapter 5 verse 21 2 Corinthians 5.21 For He has made Him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. Kaya napakaganda po mga kapatid na nandito po tayo sa time na ito na kung saan ang grace ng Panginoon ay offer, naka-offer po sa lahat para sa lahat and then ang good news po doon, lahat po ay mayroong chance na makakasumpong doon sa God's righteousness sa panahon po natin ngayon. So, the practical applications of the doctrine could not be better put than in Romans 8.33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justified. So there is no sin that can condemn a justified person to hell. No person, not yourself, not even the devil, can charge you with anything once God declares you righteous. So wala na pong makakaagaw uh, or anuman ang makakagawa ng kahit anuman kung once na ikaw ay diniklara ng ating Panginoon righteous kahit yung uh, devil. So once na ang isang tao or yung body of Christ okay, yung body of Christ pag diniklared ng Panginoon na ang body of Christ righteous ay hindi na po uh, makagawa yung, yung devil. So this was Paul's reasoning after making the, the statement in Romans 8.31 if, if God be for us, who can be against us. Kaya mga kapatid, ay uh, tingnan po natin na uh, napakaganda po kung tayo ay uh, ay patuloy po na mag-aaral, magsaliksik po 
sa salita ng Panginoon dahil napakaganda po yung ginawa ng ating Panginoon sa panahon po natin ngayon. Unlike po dito, under the law of Moses, napakahirap po na ang tao ay ay uh, ay uh, maging righteous or justified or pinawalang sala sa kapanahonan po dito. Napakahirap po sa panahon na yan. Ang good news po sa panahon natin, ang Panginoon po yung gumawa ng paraan para po sa atin na mga believers tinatawag na body of Christ kailangan po natin uh, talagang ma-maintain yung ating standard yung ating position sa ating Panginoon sa kapanahonan po natin ngayon. Kasi maraming mga mga sekta or any denomination sa panahon po natin ngayon na hindi po masyadong naunawaan kung ano yung katuruan ng ating Panginoon sa panahon po natin ngayon. So maraming salamat sa inyong uh, pakikinig at mag-aaral lang po tayo mga kapatid upang maunawaan po natin ang salita ng Diyos at uh, kailangan na may mga bagay po tayo na uh, uh, saliksikin at pag-aaralan at kung may mga katanungan po kayo, pwede po kayong uh, magtanong sa ating uh, pag-aaral. Kasi kung mayroon pong kayong mga hindi pa naunawaan, pwede po nating pwede po nating pagtulungan uh, na uh, unawain yung mga bagay na yun. Kaya hanggang dito lamang po ang ating pag-aaral. Maraming salamat and God bless.